the balloon filled with water. You take it and okay. put it in the bottle. Okay. Won't fit. It won't go in because it's too big. Right. I made it too big purposely. Well, you and I are going to get that balloon inside the bottle. But I just thought, have you ever heard of a milk bottle? I've heard of it, but I've never seen one. Oh, how do you like that? Because that was the famous experiment that probably is more famous than any other experiment, was how to get a hard-boiled egg peeled into a milk bottle. Well, this is a sort of modern version of it, and th that's the reason I use a balloon filled with water, because you can make the balloon just big enough so it can't go in. Now, here's the way it was done with the old egg in the milk bottle business, and we'll do it with a balloon. You take the balloon, and I'm going to set this piece of paper on fire and put it inside the, the jar, and then you take the balloon and put it right on top. Okay. Now, with the paper inside burning, what's going to happen to the air? It'll expand. Right, because we're heating it. Yeah. Okay, but it can't get out any place except... The top. Right up At there. the top, yeah. So it'll bubble out. Okay, then it'll settle back down again. Now when the fire goes out, what's going to happen to the air? That'll sort of like... drop in. <laughs> drop, <laughs> drop in. <laughs> First of all, the air is going to shrink. Right, take up less space because it gets cool. And the outside air pressure pushing all around here is going to push the balloon in. Okay? Yeah. Okay. All right, so you get ready. You do this at home. Be sure and do it with your parents or an adult of some kind because it's fire and you don't want to be fooling around with fire. You ready? Yep. Yeah. There we go. That's all there is to it, just like that. But it didn't bubble. <laughs> And there it is. Now you got a problem. What's that? <laughs> Can't get it out. Well, there are a couple of ways. A uh, handy tool is an ice pick. You know, you go in and <laughs> jam the bone <laughs> and break it, which wouldn't be right. Well, let's just do the reverse of how we got it in. To get the balloon in, we lowered the pressure in here, didn't we, by making yeah. the air expand and then cooling it. So to get it out, all you have to do is tip it around like this. If I can get rid of the paper first. If I can get the air pressure greater back here, that'll help pull it out. And here's how you do it. Get the balloon like this and blow. And if I blow real hard and then pull on the balloon, that'll act as a one-way valve going in the other direction. And I should be able to get it out. Watch. Just like that. Okay, you think you can do it at home? Yeah. Okay, good.